Welcome back, artist. I'm excited to start a new project with you um, based on the Mexican folk art artist named Javier Castellanos. So today we're going to be getting our project started. Here's an example of a finished work and I'm going to go through what materials we have today and how we're going to start our background. We're going to use a 9 by 12 piece of paper. It's smaller than the one we just used so um, we should be able to finish this up in two classes. You're going to also get the same kind of uh, takeout container, but this time it has markers in it. You have one of each color, so red, orange, yellow, light green, light blue, purple, and pink. You're also going to have a paintbrush and a lid. So we're actually going to be painting with markers, so I'll show you how we do that. And you will have some water at your table too. The first thing that we need to do is create the background lines with our pencil. So we're making a landscape, so we need to have a horizon line. A horizon line is just where the sky meets the ground in a, in a picture. So go ahead and draw maybe kind of like a wavy line for the ground and I like how there are usually um, a sun in his work so you can add a sun to the horizon line if you want you could also do one up in the sky if you like that better and then maybe just add some clouds and then we also need to divide our ground into some fields. So to do that, you're just going to take your pencil and kind of divide it, make some vertical lines. They don't have to be super straight. So I do vertical and then do some horizontal. I really like how Javier um, uses that to show patterns and different colors in his work. So I hope you enjoy doing that today too. Okay, so this is step number one. And before we forget, <laughs> We need to make sure we put our name on here. Okay. All right, so painting with markers I think is pretty fun. So you're gonna need your lid today to color with the marker and then we'll get a, a wet paintbrush and then we'll spread out our color. So I will start with the sky first. It's pretty easy, all you have to do is color on your lid. You're probably going to have to go back and forth when doing this depending on how much um, how much area you need to cover with the color. So color on the lid, get your paintbrush wet, and then it becomes like paint. So as you can see it, it's acting like almost like a watercolor. So I'm going to give you a medium sized paintbrush. So I think that this part shouldn't take you too long. Um, you can play around with using different colors, uh, but you're going to need to make sure that you use up all of the color on your lid first before you make any color switches, unless you want to um, add another kind of blue or purple on here to mix, mix the color and make your own color. So my brush got a little dry, so I'm just kind of spreading it out. And I'm pretty surprised that I actually was able to get most of my background done without having to recolor my lid. If you do run out of color on your lid, you can use water just to kind of spread it out. Or what you can do is um, recolor it. So just be careful. The marker might not work if the lid is very is really wet. So you would just kind of recolor on there, and you would have more marker paint to use. I think my favorite part is doing the field. So you can choose different colors to use for your field and you can make each field um, a different color. So I need to make sure I give you a paper towel as well so that you can 
wipe your lid to change colors. So now let's say I do a pink field. So same steps, color on the lid. Go to your water and paint with your marker. Um, I still had a little bit of blue on my lid and that's okay. I actually kind of like that pinky purple color um, that's on there. So I, if I were you too, I would make sure if you want to do more than one field the same color, I would do those at the same time. So let's have that field be pink and maybe the one on the bottom is also a pink color down here. So take your time and make sure that you get all of your sky, the sun, and your fields um, covered with your marker paint today so that next time we should be able to do the details on top with our marker where we do the patterns.